Hello, global citizens. It is great that you have joined us today in New York, in Accra, and from all over the world. Education is vital for self-determined and fulfilling lives. Education opens up new perspectives and it opens doors. Education enables people to break free from the cycle of poverty. With the 2030 Agenda, the international community adopted the goal of giving all people access to quality education. However, this goal has come under growing threat. The COVID-19 pandemic, the impact of climate change and armed conflicts are making it difficult for millions of children and youth worldwide to go to school. In crisis regions alone, there are 222 million boys and girls who have no access to quality education. In order to end extreme poverty worldwide, all children need to have a chance to enjoy quality education, no matter where they were born or where they grow up. In crisis regions in particular, young people need opportunities for the future. This is especially important for girls. Education helps to protect them from poverty, forced marriage, early pregnancy, and gender-based violence. And that is why equal education opportunities are so important. On the International Day of Education in January, I therefore committed 200 million euros on behalf of the German government to support the United Nations Global Fund for Education in Emergencies and Protected Crises, because the name of that fund is absolutely true. Education cannot wait. Just one month later, Russia began its war of aggression on Ukraine in violation of international law. Since the beginning of the war, more than 2,400 education facilities in Ukraine have been damaged. Many of them have been destroyed completely. Seven million Ukrainian children are affected by the war. In order to help them and assist Ukraine with rebuilding its education sector, I am today committing another 10 million euros to Education Cannot Wait. And in February next year, Germany, Switzerland, Norway, South Sudan and Niger will be co-convening the Education Cannot Wait Replenishment Conference because the international community urgently needs to increase its investments in education so that all young people can exercise their right to education. Global citizens, Thank you for raising your voices to call for more support for this important initiative. Take action so that all children everywhere in the world will have access to quality education. This will enable us to end extreme poverty now.